Hi, it's Rachel and welcome to my channel. I am in California. This is my home state. Even though I have lived in the East Coast for 13 years, I'm always going to be a San Francisco Bay Area girly. In any event, I travel here so often, I thought I could use this opportunity to share what I pack in my personal belonging and in my carry-on, especially as people are gearing up to go home for the holidays. This could be potentially interesting, useful. So if it is, stick around. Okay, let's begin with my personal belonging. And for this trip, I brought my Fjall Robin backpack. It's a great backpack for bringing a bunch of stuff. I'll be working from home and I need lots of tech. In this front pocket, I keep my wallet. This is the Yves Saint Laurent card holder. I have a pen for taking down notes, especially while I'm working. I of course brought my house keys. I have my Laneige lip balm. I definitely bring Aquaphor ointment for keeping moisturized. And I have my AirPods. There are two side pockets on this backpack and this is where I keep my sanitizing wipes. Here is my Clorox to go pack. And on the other side, I have a wet ones. I use these sanitizing wipes to sanitize my airline seat, the table tray, the TV console, the seat belt, all over. In this back pocket, I have a bunch of different tech. This is where I keep my Kindle. I also bring an iPad. When I'm working, I bring a notepad. And I have my 16 inch MacBook Pro, which fits perfectly in this back pocket. And finally, the main compartment. I bring two purses. This one is my going out purse. This is the Prada Re-Edition. It is a nice compact purse, very malleable, and it's made of nylon, so a bit stain resistant at least more stain resistant than leather. I also keep the crossbody strap inside for when I'm not using it. I also bring my Lululemon belt bag and I bring this to the gym or for quick coffee runs. This bag carries all of my cables, other various tech, my light for my camera, a mouse when I don't want to use my computer trackpad, and so on. And this is my camera case in which I keep extra batteries and also the wind muff. And finally, this is my bag of miscellaneous necessities. First, Kleenex, also Touchland sanitizer spray, some extra Splenda for when you're at a coffee shop and they don't carry it. I bring a compact mirror, this one is by Chanel. I've got another set of Laneige lip balm and Aquaphor ointment. I carry a travel spray of Chloe perfume. I also carry this little gadget here, which helps hang your purse on a table or whenever you're out and about. And finally, I got my trusty Dramamine because I get motion sickness. And now let's talk about my carry-on. This is my Ramoa Essential Cabin Suitcase. There are two carry-ons in the same essential line at Ramoa. There is the Essential Cabin, which is this one, and the Essential Cabin S. The Essential Cabin S is slightly smaller and is more guaranteed to fit into smaller airplanes and could be really useful for, say, flights within countries outside of the U.S. I fly United almost exclusively, and the Ramoa Essential Cabin fits the overhead bin for most, if not all, United flights domestically. While this is a luxury suitcase that comes at a high price point, I love it. 
It is made of a polycarbonate material, which makes it lightweight. It rolls like a dream, and it's just so pretty to look at. The suitcase has a telescopic handle. It also comes with a dust bag and a leather airline tag. On the side, it has a handle and also a TSA approved lock. This is what the interior of the Ramoa suitcase looks like. And you have a compartment here on the side, and I actually keep an Apple AirTag in here. You also have a compartment here in the mesh. And then you have these compression flaps that help just compress whatever you put in the suitcase as much as possible. And these are all Velcroed so that you can kind of adjust as you need depending on how much stuff you have inside. Let's go through how I pack my carry-on. On one side, I basically have miscellaneous necessities. This is a beanie I'm bringing because we're in the cooler months. This is the turtle pillow, which I use instead of a regular travel pillow. It's nice because it wraps around your head like a scarf and really holds up your neck. I also believe it's more compact than a travel pillow, although you could hang your travel pillow off of any bags. This is my toiletry bag. I like that it's see-through so I can know what's in there. Right now, there's not really anything in it because it's in the bathroom. What I didn't mention is that I do bring a pill organizer for my Advil. This is my makeup bag, which always has my makeup in it. I don't set it on the counter or anything like that. It's just ready to go. This is my curling iron. My stylist recommended that I get the Hot Tools curling iron. And finally for this trip, I only brought two pairs of shoes. I brought these Keds and I bought these little see-through baggies on Amazon. On the other side is where I keep my clothing. I use travel packing cubes. I bought these from Amazon. I like packing cubes because they further compress your clothing, but they also are nice to just pull out and be able to maybe slide into a drawer or throw it into a closet. So let me show you what I brought in my toiletries bag. I've got my electronic toothbrush, Glide Floss, which is the best floss, my retainers. A couple years ago, I had Invisalign, so I gotta keep those teeth straight. I've got travel size versions of the Native Body Wash, Native Shampoo, and this Garnier Conditioner. I could get better brands, probably more effective brands, but, but these are just, you know, real quick target buys. I have, for makeup, my Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm, my Garnier Micellar Water, this is the waterproof formula to remove stubborn makeup. I have my Origins Checks and Balances Face Wash. I have my Vitamin C YouTube the People Serum, and my Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream for Moisturizer. I also brought my Laneige Sleeping Mask to keep my lips, you know, moisturized. I have my Biologique Recherche Lotion P50 1970, which I love. It's a great exfoliant. I actually left this here in California because this is a size way too big for traveling and I didn't want TSA confiscating this very expensive product. I have my Supergoop Play Everyday Lotion, which I use for sunblock on my face. I have travel size Dove deodorant. I have travel size shaving cream by Eos and my razor. I also brought a Sol de Janeiro scent. This is in the scent Black Amber Plum and Vanilla Woods. I'm actually gonna probably keep this back in California. And of course, I've got my poof and a shower cap for those days and not washing my hair. Not included here are makeup browns that I use with my micellar water at times and Q-tips. And I did include my Colgate toothpaste, which is obviously larger than travel size. So I'll be honest, a lot of these products stay here in California since I travel back home so often, but I figured I would show you generally what I would bring in my toiletry bag. So now let me show you what I bring in my makeup bag. And to be honest, I keep it fairly light because I come home to California pretty often. I'm just hanging out with my family. I'm not doing too much. I'm not going out to parties or gala events. So really it's just the essentials. So normally I bring a light coverage foundation and here's the Hourglass Veil Hydrating Skin Tint in the shade seven. I also bring a slightly heavier coverage, which is my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the shade 
I brought some new products that I purchased at the Sephora sale, like I said in my last video. I've got my Makeup by Mario eyeshadow palette. I also replaced the wrong Patrick Ta palette that I purchased and got the She's Sculpted palette, which is the Contour Duo. I also said in my last video that I was going to explore some new concealers and I took advantage of the Sephora sale before it ended to get this Kosas concealer in the shade 3W. I also brought my Anastasia Dip Brow Gel in the shade Granite. For blush, I brought my Glossier Cloud Paint in the color Spark. For mascara, I brought this Essence slash Princess, which I'm experimenting with. And I also brought my Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in the shade Cherry. And finally, I of course have a bunch of my brushes. I have tweezers. I also have my Beauty Blender. I did forget my blush brush, so I've been having to apply my Glossier Cloud Paint with my fingers, which has been, you know, challenging, but I'm making it work. I also use this little headband thing to pull my hair out of my face. It's clean, just stained with foundation, so sorry about that. I also brought this Briogeo Farewell Frizz, which is a sample size I got at Sephora. I haven't actually tried it yet, but I thought I would bring it to try to control my flyaways. Okay, that's it. It's now evening here. Daylight hours are over. You know, daylight savings has been saved, but at what cost? Anyways, I hope that this video was helpful to you. I hope it could be a good reminder of things that you should bring along your travels, and maybe it can also serve as a good packing list. If you have any travel tips or travel hacks, please drop a comment below, and I wish you a bon voyage. Thanks so much for watching. If you like it here, please follow and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.